What's going on guys, my name is Jack. Welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about, oh, hold tight, let me get these off. How to create a website slash portfolio. This is how you can make your own web page that is also a portfolio. Pretty much gonna be breaking down two of my personal portfolios that I use. One of them I pay for, the other one is completely free. Both of them are done on the exact same website. So without further ado, let's jump into how to create a website slash portfolio for your video production in 2018. All right, so first off guys, this right here is the portfolio that I actually pay for. I only pay $11.99 a month and that is simply to remove the watermark that you would usually get from a free portfolio and also they give you a, uh, a free domain as well. So I've got TQ9TV.com. I also bought TQ9Media.com. That is my brand by the way, TQ9. That's my uh, you know independent production company that me and my partner run and um, basically you know what I mean? It's a it, it, it's it's a pretty simple portfolio. On the other side for my less high profile, less commercial work, this is my simple video editing portfolio. Again, I also make this on Wix. Wix is gonna be the website I'm gonna be showing you how to actually create your own portfolio on. And this one, I didn't actually pay any extra money for. And I've just, uh, you, you know what I mean, you can see, they've kept the watermark. So we have, your site was created with the Wix.com website builder. So regardless, this is going to be a full free tutorial. Either way, this right here could have been created without paying any money, but I simply just wanted to clean it up a little bit and remove the create your Wix site uh, kind of watermark that they leave here. Go ahead and make yourself a Wix account. Um, I've already got an account, so I don't need to, so I'm just gonna go ahead and press create new site, but go ahead and create yourself a Wix account, then go over and create yourself a brand new website. Now, what you wanna do is go ahead down here to portfolio and CV. And then honestly, personally, I would not let the Wix Addy create a website for you because I've noticed that you can run into some sort of um, problems down the road with customiz uh, cu customizability, that's the word I'm looking for, where basically you might wanna move something around and change it. However, it's kind of already in this, this set, set fixed template with the, uh, the website creator there. I will create um, your website with the Wix editor. Go ahead and create the website with your Wix editor. And I would also, um, unless one of these portfolio templates look good for you, I would probably go for a blank template. That's personally what I did for both of these. I went for blank templates and then just built onto them. This one obviously you can tell is super blank. This one right here looks a little bit better, but again, you, you know, I mean, you could tell it was built from a blank portfolio. But like I said, honestly, it's up to you. They do have some really nice designs here. Personally, for video stuff, I don't really think they have anything that's amazing. If we go to number two, we could have a look around. Nah, definitely nothing for video that is that good. So I would honestly go to the blank templates and go ahead and start from scratch. Or you could go ahead and, you know what I mean, kind of have a basic layout. So personally, I'm just gonna go start from scratch, right? Boom, price is of course free. Let's go ahead and edit this one right here. Go ahead and press edit, and then it's gonna load us up to the Wix website editor. Very, very simple. First off, what you probably wanna do, um, assuming you're creating a video portfolio, is um, first off, a tip I would actually give you is just to do everything on one page, especially if you're just starting out. Um, the easier you can make this for people, the better. I know, um, I know my TQ9 uh, media one is not all on the same page, but I tried to at least have our best video playing instantly when you come here. Um, and then it, uh, you know what I mean? That, that's kind of grab people's attention. So I would suggest to have something that's gonna be your attention grabber, either your best video or your show reel or something like that as the main element when you load up. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and add a YouTube video. I'm just gonna put my show reel here, okay? So let's go ahead and just make this nice and big. Boom, set that up there. Go ahead and change the video. And um, let me just go over to YouTube real quick. Type in TQ9 TV. And go ahead and grab this, which I literally just put up there for, a, uh, for this video, basically. <laughs> um, boom, that is our show reel right there, right away. You can also do a couple things with this where you can go um, auto plays on loading. So basically if we preview this now, as soon as the page loads up, this is gonna um, play my live events show reel of 2017. Live events is the main stuff I do and boom, it is going to start uh, playing the show reel. So you know what I mean? Do something that's gonna grab people's attention right there on the first page. Honestly, um, it's really up to you the layout after that, but grab their attention quickly 
And then honestly, like I said before, try put everything on one page. It's just going to be way simpler. People don't, you know what I mean? They, they don't actually have much time and people are getting way lazier and way lazier as time goes. But oh, you know, overall, grab their attention right there. Then go ahead and obviously get some text. I'm going to go ahead and get a big all caps and just type portfolio sample gang. Portfolio sample gang. I think it's a pretty good gang. You know what I mean? I'm trying to recruit people to it. Um, you guys could be a member, <laughs> the portfolio sample gang. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and bring that in a little bit. Ooh. Nice. Line that up. Cool. So we've got our text up there, portfolio sample gang. And we've also got our straight up uh, sample that's going to be playing right away. Then honestly, I would simply go down and just start bringing in a nice amount of these YouTube boxes or you can bring Facebook boxes in loads of other stuff as well. I think you can actually upload videos directly here as well, which could be cool. But after you've actually gone ahead and made your uh, your main sample video, okay, just go ahead and duplicate your text, right? This could be on another page, anything like that, like I just said before, and just go previous work. Boom, previous work. And now we go ahead and pop that in the middle where that kind of belongs. Boom, so now we've got portfolio sample gang. Uh, previous work and then for these I would just duplicate these um, as many times as you can or as many times as videos that you have right so boom I'm just gonna go ahead and do probably a nice little six right so I'm gonna put my six best videos there boom and this would essentially be of course our six best videos so now if I go to uh, TQ9 media or yep I can literally just go here go to portfolio and I'm just literally gonna steal uh, some videos from, from my YouTube page. Boom, and now you guys have yourself six different pieces of content that you've obviously just put in there. That's a nice little, little, little section right there. Now, honestly, I'm just gonna mess around with a, a few different kind of um, details. Honestly, the background right here, I like to change the background to something a little bit more subtle. Maybe something like a, uh, like a nice grayish, grayish could be decent. Set your, um, your, your, your videos and your kind of page section rather to no color. So that's just gonna be the same as the background. Honestly, the background color, I don't know if I'm fully digging that to be honest. So we could just go ahead and make it fully black. This here, let's just go ahead and make that white. Boom. And now if we actually go ahead and publish this, call it uh, sam sam sample portfolio. Boom. Save and continue. If we load this up now, that is going to be portfolio sample gang at the top. It's also gonna start playing our live event show reel from 2017 right away. Very, very dope, even though it's not the best quality right there. And then it's also gonna have six of our most previous videos that we have created all right here. Boom, very simple. And that of course is the free version at Wix.com. Of course guys, you can uh, create this and uh, pay for it basically. And then you can pay like 10.99 a month or something like that and go ahead and get yourself a custom domain and remove the advertisements from it. But overall, that is how you create a portfolio slash website in 2018 for your video production. Boom, thank you guys for watching another video. If you enjoyed and actually this uh, helped you out creating your first website slash portfolio, give me a like and a comment down below guys. Also, subscribe to my channel for more video production themed videos, damn near every single day. Sometimes not, but <laughs> at least a few a week. Thanks for watching, I've been Jack Cole. Have a nice day and goodbye.